I'm so happy that Sandra's dead. I'm much happier with Jan instead. That one's for you, Jan. You know why I like you, Jan? Because you don't have kids. You don't talk about them all the time. What do you mean we're rolling? Hello and welcome back to the Jacksepticeye Power Hour! Where today we are going to do something extraordinary. We are making food out of Play-Doh. Ready, steady, go! I finally have a thing that I can use that's for my age. It's age appropriate. This one is three plus. I can definitely do this one at least. Oh God. No, there's plastic bags. I'm gonna suffocate. <laughs> this is a Play-Doh pizza set, and I am going to make the best pizza that anyone has ever seen. I'm even going to eat it, even if it's inedible. I I'll eat it out of spite. Ooh! Here we have our weapons of choice. What's your favorite pizza flavor? Is it red? Is it green? Or... <laughs> or are you a fan of white pizza? Hold up a minute. I have been lied to. On the cover, it shows this thing, the stencil. It's purple. Why is mine yellow? Also, this pizza is huge. Look at the real one. That wouldn't even feed a baby. I'm gonna create my favorite type of pizza. It's going to be a regular old base, thick crust, you know how I like it. And I'm also gonna put a little sauce, a little cheese on top, same as every other pizza. That's a good start, mwah, mamma mia. But then I'm also gonna make some sweet, sick toppings. You know ones I'm talking about, you know, like whale and dolphin. Don't forget everyone's favorite pizza topping, Telephone. Yeah, I'd like to order one large phone with extra phones, please. All right. Every good pizza starts off with a good base. I, none of these look like the color a pizza base should be. Should we go for yellow? Yellow pizza. Mmm. Oh my God, Play-Doh smells so good. Oh, and it's so squishy. Get out! Come on. Come on, little guy, come on. Come on. Push. Come on. Come on. The miracle of childbirth. Oh yeah, feel it in your hands. Get a good feel for that. That yellow squishy goodness. This is actually super nice. I haven't played with Play-Doh in years. I missed it. I didn't wash my hands before this. Get it all nice into a little ball. When you get it into a little ball, you know that you got a good time going on. How else do you make a pizza? You make it from a ball. And then you put it in your thing is a hot dog a sandwich no the fucking not when the moon hits your eye on a yellow pizza pie that's gonorrhea oh beer helps calm the shakes hey jan look look what it looks like isn't it cute it actually came out pretty well i think what do you mean how am i gonna get it out hold on hold on i got, I got an idea <laughs> Didn't work. Ah, beautiful. Just like mama used to make. Oh, there, toss the dough. Toss the dough to and fro, make a pizza. All right, now that our abominitsa is underway, excuse me, fellas, excuse me, coming through, I have a pizza to show. Now that our little pizza base is all ready and good to go, I think it's time that we add the sauce. The tomato sauce, it's gotta be red. The red one is the good one. Come out, please. Oh God, bouncy baby boy. Oh, oh, what is this? I don't fucking know. <laughs> this is why my wife left me. All righty, all righty, put the dough over to the side. Now I got my little roller. I got my little roller and I'm gonna roll out the dough. This is what children like to do. And I can see why, because this is super fun. Actually, I don't need a rolling pin. I thought that this was a plate or maybe a tiny frisbee for very small people. But no, what it really is, is a squishertron. Put it down this and there, look. Perfect. 
Now it's proper safety practice to practice when you put your Play-Doh back in its pot, okay? When you're done playing with the Play-Doh, you gotta put it back. Except I'm not done with this piece yet, cause it's still a fatty. Away you go, extra bits that no one wants. Yes, just like the child who doesn't go to college. Now we got our sauce! It's a bit big though. I don't know if I, if I need this much. Because it's the size of the entire base. All I got is two discs of Play-Doh right now. Look at it! It looks perfect! I'd eat this. I'm gonna eat this. I have to bake it at 270,000 degrees though for 15 minutes. Alright, what else are we gonna make? What kind of toppings do we want? I know that I want some pineapple though. Pineapple... Uh, uh, I used all the yellow for the base. What am I gonna make the pineapple out of? Ah, damn it. There, like nothing ever happened. Jan, you shut If the people know that I redid some of this, they're gonna, they're gonna have my head, okay? I, I'll never work in this town again. I'm going to make some pineapples. Because that's a good idea, because pineapple belongs on pizza. You know, pizza is like a canvas. Pizza is like a good artist. You have your blank canvas, and then whatever you want to put on it is up to you. Who cares what anybody else thinks? Go out there, enjoy your pineapple on pizza. Enjoy your corn on pizza, who cares? If you put strawberries and bananas on your pizza though, you're kind of a heathen, and I don't uh, associate with you, so. Cool. I'll put them in the stencil, Cinderella. That's easy. How do you get them out? The pineapple's inside the computer. There we go. A tiny piece of pineapple. It go right on top. Oh! <gasps> I forgot a part though. Oh, I'm so silly, so young, so naive. This is a trick I learned back in college. It... Shut up. The piece that I forgot is the cheese. I said I was gonna put cheese on a pizza and then I launched straight into the pineapple. I didn't even have a, an entree, a starter. I went straight to the main course and thought that it was cultured. Look at this, wow, cheese. Wow. So we don't have much cheese, so I gotta make do. Just sprinkle it everywhere. You know, Martha Stewart didn't know what she was talking about when she was doing stuff. I mean, Martha Stewart went to jail, so. Would you trust her? Or would you trust the Jacksepticeye Power Hour? We know what we're doing over here. Look at that cheese. And what's the rule of the day, kids? Yes, put your Play-Doh back in its playhouse. Okay, that means that you'll have it for later to eat when you're hungry and your parents send you to your room without any supper. Also, today's episode of the Jacksepticeye Power Hour is sponsored by the letter four. Uh. Oh man, where did that come out of? And then you sprinkle your pineapples on top. Perfect. Isn't that looking good? That looks real good. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to separate out the colors. Because everything looks a little yellow and red right now, so we got to add a little pop. I mean, Jan, what am I supposed to do here? It shows on the box like... like browns and pinks and stuff for like the shrimp and the meatballs. They, they didn't give us those colors. I feel like we need to write a strongly worded letter, like a real mean letter to, um, the Nick Jr. Company. Next up, since I got some green, the green machine, I think, now, I don't agree with what I'm about to do, all right? It's more of a just have fun and pay attention than do what I say, you know? So next up, bah! next up we're gonna put some broccoli on our pizza. I know, I know. I threw up in my mouth a small bit as well, but some people out there like it. Look how cute! <laughs> Teeny tiny little broccoli boys! <laughs> and you just place them very diligently onto this. You know, rule of thirds and all that? It's a very meticulous process, and I don't know about you, but boy oh boy oh man oh man, I sure am getting hungry for pizza. Jen, can you just shut your 
Oh, my pizza's not good enough for you. Oh, I want meatballs. You're not eating it! What is that? It looks like a, a trap. You touch the middle of it and then the teeth come up and just go ah! The last order of business is that we're going to make some olives. Now, I don't know why they put the black Play-Doh inside a plastic wrapper and it was separate from all the others. It didn't get its own tub. It was just separated out there on its own. And I don't know why. I'm kind of worried that this isn't actually Play-Doh and it's some sort of form of plastic explosion. All right, I'm gonna make some black olives for my pizza. I asked for black olives. Not whatever fucking abomination this is supposed to be. Carefully peel it out. You know, like you're unwrapping the bandages on a plastic surgery person. <gasps> Dudes, I wanna make mushrooms. <laughs> Get out! Oh, there it is. Now, some people out there would say, don't eat mushrooms, they're a fungus. And you know what I'd say? You're a f***ing fungus. Mushrooms are really sweet, fun to taste and fun to eat, but some mushrooms will make you blind, so don't eat them or their kind. Oh, saw, dude. We made some fucking shrooms, dude. Don't know where to put them, man, because I just realized that I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, rule of thirds. We are complete. All right, everybody. Our pizza is done. It's time for the big re- Get no, get back on. It's time for the big reveal. I don't know about all of you at home, but I sure am hungry for a pizza pie. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna divvy up the pizza. Now I gotta separate you guys, I'm sorry. Your family will be back together soon. You gotta slice right through the middle. Oh, yes. This is so satisfying, okay? Hold on. Oh no, my children! This is very difficult. Oh, oh the pizza's done. Oh, oh, would you like a slice? I don't know about you, but I think I did a pretty good... No! I think I did a pretty good job. I think that that's a pizza worthy of a prize. A pizza prize. Get it? All right. All that's left now is the taste test, I guess. <laughs> Jan, call him! Call the doctor! <laughs> okay, well that does it for this episode of the special cooking Jacksepticeye Power Hour. I would like to thank our sponsors, Stomach Pumps, for helping us get through this hour. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me here today on the Jacksepticeye Power Hour. Don't forget that today's episode is sponsored by the letter four. I'll see you all next time for some fun adventures. Buongiorno. Jan, no, I think some of it is actually in me. I think it's in me. I think I'm going to die.